Oh, hello boys and girls, it's Rabbit here for Unbreakable Gamers, and today I'm going to show you, um, I guess, what the first episode of a series I might call Stupid Tips. Um, things that can make your life easier, but have no real purpose. Um, today I'm going to show you a way to change what appears on your Steam overlay message to um, people. Um, I'll show, give you an example here. Uh, if you bring up your friends list, you'll notice that whenever you're playing a game, it shows the name of the game. Um, underneath, you know, you get the status here. So, say if I loaded up Seven Days to Die, it would go rabid Seven Days to Die underneath it. Like, you know, it's got in-game squad. Now, this is fairly simple to do. Um, what you need to do is go down here to the Add a Game, and then Add it on Steam Game. Now, this brings up all the programs that Steam can detect is loaded on your computer. Now, you can use any program for this, but I usually use a Notepad program because it's very low resource and it won't interfere with um, most games if you decide to run a game at the same time. So yeah, you just go and click browse, you navigate to where you want to be, in this case I'm using Notepad 2, rather good program, um, a Notepad replacer. Select the program you want to use, click open, you'll see it's checked there, make sure nothing else is checked it except the program you want to run, um, and then add selected programs, and you're done. Now the next step is, we've now got to navigate through our games list here, because any programs you add, it'll obviously be added to your games library, not your software, um, or videos, or anything like that. Um, so yeah, here, here we go, Notepad 2, right click that, click Properties, and then type in whatever you want it to appear as, like so. Uh, and then click Close, and as you'll see, it'll now be renamed. So if you see here, Rabbit Online, because I'm not in any games at the moment, I click Play, it loads up Notepad, which I can then minimise, and then if I view my friends list, you can see now it is showing that I'm playing a non-Steam game called I Love Your Mum. And as we can see, my friends reacted to it, because that's what I quite often do, is come up with some crazy stuff um, that will you know, amuse my friends, or it's also a good way to advertise things that you... Um, I wouldn't suggest it for spamming things, but a good example is um, this week Dirt 3 Complete Edition has been getting given away for free on um, Steam. Oh, not Steam, sorry, Humble Bundle. And so I can right click this, I can probably type in a message like Dirt 3 free for Steam. Um, leave that in there because it's running. Um, but you can type in any message you want there and it'll appear. Now, the, the one thing you've got to be aware of is sometimes you can run other games and that w whatever program you start up first will still appear um, on the um, description of what you're doing. Um, but sometimes you'll start up another game and it will actually override that. So it's hit and miss. So if you're going to try and use it to hide what games you're playing at the time or whatever, there's various reasons for that. You know, you want to play an online game, you don't want your friends to realise. So it's a good idea to experiment with it before you rely on it to cover your track sort of thing. Um, but yeah, if you're watching Netflix or something like that and you want to make your friends aware of something or you just feel like having a cheap laugh, uh, that's how you do it. It's that simple. So yeah, this has been a stupid tip um, to help you with something that will not make your life much better, but it, it will in the sense of it can be a very amusing thing to do. So yeah, I'm Rabid. Thanks for watching. Hope this is of some help to you um, and have fun with it and remember to use it for good, not evil. Okay, guys. Um, have fun, keep on gaming, and I will see you on my next video, which will more than likely be a Carmageddon review. Okay, catch you later. Wrap it out.